Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. Got another review for you today, and it's actually a lovely day to be out. So, I've uh, got a nice review for you today. It's the, the Honda, the 2021 Honda NC750X. This is the non DCT version, this one. It does come in a DCT version, which is a, a little bit. Uh, a little bit extra a few quid uh, we will we will go through all the specs in a bit so stay tuned and I'll do the usual walk around of the bike giving you all of the, the information uh, and more hopefully so yeah I'm just jolling with the bike as usual at the moment just jumped on adjust those mirrors a little oh. first impressions of the riding position feet are in a lovely position on the pegs oh, loads of stones here and the gravel in the road want to be a bit careful so I just jumped on. Very good visibility through those mirrors. Very good visibility. Just that one a bit more. So yeah, anyway, I think this was first first introduced or brought to the market, I think, in 2000, 2012. So what's that, nine years ago? It's gone through many changes through, well, generally every, every sort of couple of years. Yeah, it's had a sort of few major updates, uh, you know, lots of uh, additional updates on this model, and I will run through them in a minute. Not getting any wind, but uh, well, a little bit of wind blast actually. I'm only doing 50 mile an hour here, but the screen is it, it could have it's a non adjustable screen on there, so it could, have, could do with an adjustable screen slightly bigger. I think you can, you know, upgrade to one of these additional rider packs. You know, where you get your panniers and screen and what have you so clutch is very very light there I think that's got the, the, the torque assist clutch giving you 20% uh, you know less feel on that so very nice lovely absolutely lovely riding position can't grumble at all sounds nice and uh, nice and nice and quiet as well on the tick over they do do, like I said before, a DCT model. This one being the non-DCT model. Indicators on. I'm a lover of the DCT. I've rode a lot of DCT models recently. If you're, uh, you know, if you're new to the channel, or if you're an existing subscriber, you'll be aware of that. And if you're new, consider subscribing. Plenty more reviews coming. Uh, this is probably the last one of the of 2021, actually. So, uh, yeah, lovely crystal clear dash there as well. <coughs> God, that lorry in front is pushing up loads of dust. Lovely crystal clear dash there as well. It's got all the information you need. Very clear. Very clear display there. Giving you a rev counter. Gear indicator there as well. Fuel gauge. Nice, nice and clear fuel gauge. I've not actually got a search for this information on here. That's all there. So I can see all that very clearly. We're in standard mode there at the moment. He did show me, you know, how to do that. How to flick from between the modes. So I've hit, I've hit that, we go down into uh, sport mode. So we're now in sport mode now. As you can see there, it's changed uh, the power there, engine braking and the torque. Or traction control, I think. See what she's like in uh, sport mode. Once we get clear, we get a nice clear run. We'll open her up a little bit, see what she's all about. Yeah, it's a 750cc. Parallel twin, single overhead cam, eight valve, with that uh, lovely 270 degree crank where you get that lovely, lovely sound from the engine there. It's got loads to talk about with this, but I will go through all that when we pull over because, uh, you know, you've got additional storage space uh, with this model. An extra litre, I think, on this model from the previous model. Pretty sure it's the same engine as the Forza 750 and also the, what's the other one, the XADV Honda. Actually quite a nippy machine. Plenty of pull there. I'm not going to go too crazy. It's not my bike, and it's not done that many miles, so go nice and easy. Getting a bit wind blasted here. Like I say, could, you could do with another screen there. The handlebars are lovely, lovely position there. Uh, I'm sitting in a nice upright position. My feet aren't, you know, behind my, my ears. <laughs> They're not tucked up behind my ears, so I'm quite, quite comfortable. Can't feel any weight at all of the bike. It's not a heavy bike anyway, but it's got 
plenty, plenty of poke there. What they've done with this model is they've changed, I think it's the first three gears, so one, two and three are very short geared, and then you've got your, your four, five and six, which are, you know, taller geared, so you could probably sit on a, on a dual carriageway, single carriageway, you know, where the revs will be nice and low. But we will, once I say, once we get clear, we'll try the brakes in a minute as well. We're up to 60, nothing behind. Brakes are very good. Very good there. Single disc on the front with the Nissan twin, twin pot calibre. And a single disc on the rear as well. I'll go through all of the, the figures and details, the power and you know, once we pull over. So don't, don't go anywhere, stay tuned. Such an enjoyable ride today. Weather's out, sun's out, can't moan at all. <laughs> and it is uh, yeah, definitely going to be uh, few and far between these days like this. Just creeping along, feet aren't even touching the floor there. No, no issues. Yeah, you, you, you're not in first gear for very long. Or second. Just check the camera's still on there. No problems with the camera. We've also got uh, LED LED lighting on the model. I actually quite like this. This is this is one of the bikes I think you could, you know, it's, a, it's, it's classed as an adventure machine, uh, adventure stroke tourer. This would be an excellent commuter bike. One of the nationals. Just take them brakes again. Front brake. Yeah, very good. You know, you've got no frills, you, you know, single disc. It's keeping the cost of the bike down, you know. I will run through the exact price of the bike. I've got I've got a note with that. I don't want to get that wrong, you know, according to the Honda website. But, you know, in order to keep them bikes low, sir, in order to keep those bikes low, the price low, you know, you've got the, the LCD dash there, you know, non-TFT, non which really, I, 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 I can't grumble with that. It's very clear. You know, and what, and what more information do you need on a bike, to be honest? It's actually a very, very comfortable bike to ride. But the seat height is 800, 800 millimeter. It's actually down for it, 30 millimeter from the last model. So uh, no problems for a short ass like me. <laughs> Putting my feet down. It's fairly narrow as well, fairly narrow. Be interesting to have a ride of the DCT model, but unfortunately it wasn't available today. Just to compare the two, I mean, it really would be a completely relaxing ride with that. Just literally get on, open her up, and away you go. I, do, I am a lover of a DCT. I am. But yeah, I mean, these bikes just seem to be getting better and better. Nice and comfortable, suspension's nice. Sweet spot there, you know. Uh, show a suspension, I think, as well. Non adjustable, though. Adjustable on the rear, got the Pro Link shock on the rear, Pro Link swing and arm type. Adjustable for your preload, it should be. That clutch is so light, I know I keep talking about it. It's so light. Switch gear, yeah, very min minimalistic. You've got your, your hazards there, high, high beam, uh, the main beam there. Selector there to go to go through your rider modes. Horn, we'll try the horn, nothing about. Yeah, pretty standard horn there. Indicators. Yeah, in a nice position there, so you're not going to start bibbing the horn there when you turn your indicators on and off, like I have done before. Mode button there, to switch between all your rider modes. Sport, it's got sport, road, rain, and a user customizable one, which you can go in and change, you know, your settings uh, to your desire, really. This side, of, it's got your kill switch there, with your built-in start start stop switch there as well on the right hand side that's about it the only thing what would be different on the dct up here you'd, you'd have a handbrake here so when you park the bike obviously you can't leave it in gear so you pull a handbrake on so yeah mirrors no issues with the mirrors there no vibes through the mirrors lovely position there I see a little bit of my shoulders and my elbows but as far as mirrors go the mirrors go they're doing a very good job there Lovely day today to be out. Many thanks Honda for the loan of the bike today. Much appreciated. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I am impressed. Yeah, like I say, it's very difficult to pick holes on a lot of these new bikes. They really are, 
you know, coming up trumps. No, bars look very thin. Saying that though, the bars do look very, very sort of scrawny is the word. Let me know, you know, could you see yourself out test riding one? Or do you own one? You know, what, what do you, what do you uh, like about it if you do own one? Because there's a lot to lot, there's a lot to be liked by, about this bike. And, it, and, and you know, it's a reasonable price as well. It can also be made A2 compliant by the Honda dealer. I think what they do is, uh, lots of mud here, whoa. Well, it is an adventure machine. I don't know how much of an adventure it could be up, up against, but I don't know what he's doing either. <laughs> uh, yeah, as I said, it can be made A2 compliant and what they do is they'll change the map of the bike, I think. And plug it in and change the map of the bike, so it's either that or the twist grip, I'm not sure. Lots of uh, uh, additional optional extras for the bike as well. I know they do like they do a uh, adventure, you know, uh, different different packs and that. So you know, panniers, and we will talk about that in a minute. So stay tuned. I'm not going to waffle on about that and bore you with it twice. <laughs> Lovely attention to detail on the brand in here. We'll have a look under under this trunk as well. Have a look at the storage. I think it's 23 litres this one, which is uh, the same. That they're claiming that you can get, you know, a full face or a, you know a large helmet in there. I'm not going to take my helmet off and put it in. So obviously, I'm using it to record the video. And uh, we're not out for very long today. We we'll pull over just up here, and I'll give you a thorough walk around of this lovely machine. No, I am liking this got a lovely little note there when you open it up. Hello sir. Another fellow bike around enjoying the, uh, the lovely weather today. Yeah, it's nice. So we'll pull in just up here on the right and I'll give you a thorough walk round of the machine. Here we go. That's what I like to find, neutral. Very easy there. We'll go up, we'll go from second down into neutral as well there. First. Very easy to find neutral there. Side stand. Nice little pokey airy bit there. No issues. I'm going to leave it in gear actually. There you go, just killed it off. I don't like rolling forward on the, on the, uh, in the car park. So, what I'll do is I'll take my gloves off and we'll run through the full specs of the bike. Right, so here we have it. This is the uh, under the Adventure range. The it's a non-DCT model. This one, and it's the 2021 Honda NC750X, which is Euro 5 compliant. Uh, has a liquid cooled four-stroke, eight-valve single overhead cam. Uh, the parallel twin, 270 de degree crank, and the six-speed manual gearbox which is very, very, very smooth. Um, I have no issues with that at all. Uh, it's got the six-speed gearbox, like I say, with a slipper clutch, giving you 20% lighter feel. Um, you do really do notice that, you know, when you're sort of, you know, using the clutch there, especially through traffic would be nice, you know, if you're going to use it for commuting. It's chain-driven, this one, so there's no shaft drive. It's chain-driven. Uh, yeah, so you'd have to keep, you know, your maintenance up for that. I know they do do a centre stand for this bike, so it would be very handy if you wanted to, uh, you know, maintain the chain. Well, anyway, going off on a bit of a tangent there. So, anyway, the performance is 58 brake horsepower at 6,750 6, RPM, uh, which is up 2.5 brake horsepower from the last model. Uh, also, 69 newton metres of torque at 4,750 RPM. And according to the website, we'll get a top speed of 115 mile an hour. Which, uh, yeah, it's not, not loads, but I think it's uh, ample, you know. So what more do you what more do you sort of need, really? It's got the ride-by-wire throttle as well, so it's nice and smooth, non-snatchy. And I didn't, I didn't really notice anything, any issues with that at all. Uh, four rider modes, as we spoke about. So standard, sport, rain, and the user, customizable uh, modes, you know, to your own sort of content, really. You can change that as you please. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, it's got the 17 inch wheels front and rear so yeah I mean could you do with a bigger wheel on the front maybe I don't know 
Uh, I don't think so, but you know. Anyway, front brake 320 millimeter, uh, single disc. It's got the wavy disc on there as well. I'm not really a massive lover of them, really. I think it's, I don't know. Yeah, you see the ABS ring in there as well, and the twin pot Nissin caliper on the front there. So rear brake is 320 millimeter. Sorry, 240 millimeter. Get it right, sir. <laughs> 240 millimeter single wavy disc again with a single pot Nissan on the rear. Uh, suspension 41 millimeter telescopic forks. Uh, again with a, well, it's got 120 millimeters of travel there, and they are kind of the right way round forks, so they're not the upside down forks like uh, you know you often see. S uh, what's it say on there? So share a dual bending valve. S O B V, whatever that means. Uh, so what else have we got then? Rear is the monoshock, the damper, the Prolink swinging arm type, again with 100, 120 millimeters of travel, uh, and preload adjustable. You see that tucked in there, nicely out the way. Uh, what else have we got? So the curb weight of the bike, this one being the non DCT, is 214 kilograms. And the the DCT model is 224 kilograms. That's the DCT model. Uh, the bike the bike is down six kilograms, and I believe what they've done with that is they've they've knocked the weight off the frame uh, somehow or other. Loads of storage room. We'll have a look in here. I've already unlocked this. You've got the key. You move the key from the ignition into this one, and there's the storage. So there's loads of room in there. Let's go around this side. Lots of room in there. They're saying, we'll oh, just kick my gloves. They're saying 23 litres. So that's up one litre from the previous model. You've got a nice toolkit in here as well. Can't find a USB charging point in there. So I'm not sure there is one. That could be an optional and extra. But yeah, there's lots of room in there. Not so I'm not going to take my helmet off to show you that it fits in there. But I'm convinced it will. Yeah, there's loads of room in there. So we'll close that one down. What else have we got here? The fuel is under the seat here, so yeah, there's no fuel. Obviously, I think it's to do with the sort of the design of the engine there being, you know, being that 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 sort of parallel twin. You know how you've got all that room there for you know where, where you're getting that that storage from. Seat height, as I said before, 800 millimeters, which is down 30 from the from the previous model. The bike is very easy to maneuver and ride at low speeds. And like I said before, can be made A2 compliant from Honda, which would be ideal for new riders. The LCD dash, I've already spoke about that. There's lots of basic info on there. LED lighting, let's turn them on actually. We'll move the key into here. So we'll turn the lights on and have a little look at that. Yeah, very nice. That's the main, or the, the high, high beam down here, that one. So yeah, uh, LED lighting. It's been all, all sort of all redesigned, including the tail lighting indicators. We'll put the hazards on actually. Stick the hazards on. There we go. Very nice. Ignore the camera there on the bike. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, like I say, this is the. Uh, there's non stand the non um, DCT model, but I think what they've done is they've given a faster all round town acceleration, you know, throughout the gears one to three use shorter ratios, while gears gears four to six have sort of taller ratios, you know, given very low RPM at cruising speeds. Yeah, so as I said before, the bike is very, very customizable with genuine Honda components, including an adventure pack, you know, which which um, consists of things like uh, front wrap around side pipes for LED fog lights and heated grips should you require them. They also do an urban pack uh, which is top box, uh, a taller screen which you really could do with that. A taller screen, uh, centre stand, a main stand for easy maintenance of the, maintenance of the chain which would be very useful. Uh, yeah the travel pack would give you 50 litre top boxes and panniers and also yeah another thing I haven't really spoke about is it, it it's claiming excellent fuel economy, uh, you know, uh, so you're looking at probably about, eight. I would say, 80, it says 3.5 litres per 100 kilometres, so, yet again, they've got to come up with that figure there, some of you understand it, 
Uh, me being old school, I sort of understand the miles per gallon, uh, which is around about 80 with my maths. Fuel tank, as I've just showed you, it's under the seat there. There's a 14.1 litre tank. Uh, I would say given approximately 270 mile range. Excellent all round. Uh, the bike is three different colours. So you've got GP red, Grand Prix red, uh, blue metallic and black metallic. So, yeah. Very nice indeed. The price of the, the non-DCT is 7,549. That's the non-DCT, which is this one. And you've got uh, the DCT, which is 8,379 for the DCT model. Uh, which, what's that? That's uh, £830 more. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, for the DCT, which I, personally myself, I, I do prefer, you know, in this style of bike, the DCT. But yeah, I actually really like it. I do like it. Very nice, very very comfortable to ride, lovely riding position. Let's turn those hazard lights off. Yep, yeah. very nice. Okay, turn the hazard lights off and I think we should get on and ride some more. All right, okay. Let's jump on and ride some more. Oh, yeah, my feet are literally on, they're flat footed on the deck, so no issues with that. And I'm not, I'm what, my five foot seven with a... Uh, a 30 inch in uh, in a leg sounds very nice that sounds very nice okay what she like to turn round nice very easy very easy okay I'll take a right here Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Yeah, very comfortable ride. Very, very comfortable ride. I turn the indicator off. No self cancelling indicators. It's absolutely a pleasure to ride. Very comfortable. You could you could ride this all day. It'd be a lovely bike this to commute to work on, and you know, go out go out after work or weekends and have a have a nice ride out with your mates. So yeah, I, I am impressed. Very smooth through the gears. Very nice. You know, it's not all about going down the road doing stupid speeds, really. I'm sitting here now, I'm doing 50 mile an hour, wind it on. 60 mile an hour there, no issues. It's fairly windy today, so I hope you can hear me okay. But yeah, overall, I'm very happy, uh, very, very uh, impressed for the NC750X non-DCT. It's also got a light there as well. I don't know if you can see there. Probably can't on the camera, but it's got a light there. I think this changing actually when I, you know, to do with your economy. Oh corner there approaching rather quickly <laughs> tips in lovely round these bends I'm very impressed Loads the old visor down so yeah if you're new to the channel consider subscribing like I say this is probably going to be the last video before or oh, even this year actually stay there sir I think when you open the bike up and you add, you know, give it plenty of gas, that light on there just turned red. I would say that that's linked to your fuel economy. It's going nice and easy now, and it's blue, so give it four beans. Well, it's actually gone off, but <laughs> very impressed. Lots of mud on the road. Well, anyway, thanks for joining me today, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the review. And uh, ho hopefully, uh, you'll have a yeah, Christmas is coming up, so have a good Christmas, and hopefully, I'll see you in the new year for more reviews and uh, ride out. So, happy new, happy Christmas, happy new year, and uh, take care. See you soon.